Today in Photoshop, we will be taking a look at how to professionally mess with your friends by switching their heads. There are millions of different ways you can use this technique to get funny results, but today we will be switching genders. First, find an image where your subjects are looking in the same or a similar direction. This will make the final result look more realistic and disturbing. Next, you need to make a selection of one person's head. You can do this any way you want, but I will be using the quick selection tool. Be sure to also select a portion of their neck as it will make the head easier to blend in. After that, right click on your selection and go to layer via copy. This will make a copy of the layer and allow you to drag the head to the other body. After that, scale the new head up so that it is about the same size and rotation as the original. Next, put a layer mask on this layer so that you can use a brush to blend the new head with the old. After that, paint black to remove part of the head and white to add it. I have sped up this part of the video as it does take a bit of time depending on how good you want the final result to look. This part will be a bit different each time you do this, so feel free to use any other techniques to help you get the desired effect. Once you've blended the new head with the old, you should start to see the effect coming together. The hardest part of this effect is removing any remnants of the old head if the new one does not perfectly overlap it. To tweak the parts that stick out, click on in the main image layer and use the clone stamp and healing brushes to remove these areas. Again, this does take some time and depends on your individual situation. To use the clone stamp and healing brushes, hold Alt and click a spot that you want to copy and then click the spot that you want to change. The healing brush transfers the pattern and color and blends the result, whereas the clone stamp makes an exact copy of the area selected. After you are done with this, you will likely want to touch up the mask a bit more. Take your time and use small brushes and other selection tools to blend the image head in. If your subject has wavy hair, you may also want to consider using the Refine Edge tool to bring them back into the image. Lastly, look for small opportunities in your photo to add some realism. For example, in my photo, the man was scratching his head. I can use my layer mask to bring back in the fingers so that the woman now looks like she is doing the same. So there we have it. Now to really complete this effect and reach the maximum level of hilarity and discomfort, feel free to post the man's head onto the woman's body as well. So have fun messing with all of your friends' photos, and if you're feeling really devious, be sure to post and tag them on Facebook. So as always, if you like this Photoshop tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.